Morning guys. I've got a little Life Williams trailer. It's uh, got no back lights on it. I think all the wiring at the back end is all to shot to shit. Uh, so I've got some wiring with me. We're gonna go out there and rewire it. It's out on site. So let's go get a meal deal. It's a freaking beautiful day. It's lovely today. I'll tell you what I'm gonna have to do on all, don't you? Is ring up the, the Royal Mail because I uh, paid for a post office box. It must be about two weeks ago now. And I still haven't heard any confirmation of it. So I'm gonna have to give them a tinkle on and see where this freaking PO box has gone. I'm paying for the bloody thing. Just be on the phone to Royal Mail. Apparently I've got a different postcode for the delivery address than I have the billing address. I don't know how that's come about because, oh, I don't know. I set it up, didn't I? I could have fucking done out wrong. Apparently I've got to ring up tomorrow though because they've got a high volume of uh, phone calls to sort out. So I'll ring up tomorrow and see what they say. I've probably done something wrong, I don't know. This fucking technology, you need that much shit, don't you? I think I'm coming down with man flu, you know. Our little birdie, she hasn't been very well. She's got, well, she must have a sore throat or something because her voice is ever so croaky. And you know what they're like, they're a bit under the weather she is. So I think I might have caught man flu off her, I think. Even though she's a little baby. But, you know, I've obviously caught it worse than her, obviously. Obviously mine is a lot is a lot worse than her than it? Because I've got a sore throat and I've got a snotty nose and I've got a snot build up in my throat as well. So obviously, and I'm a man obviously as well. So we go a lot worse than anyone else. What we do is a fact. I've got a ton of gravel. It's a lovely little village. Oh, that looks good. Right, there's another one to do. It's in worse shape than this one. Oh, there's a full house. It's a full house now. Oh, look at them. They've been dragging, haven't they? This is the one that needs a rewire. It's pretty simple, really. All right, we've got two cables there, look. One for the side marker, one for the back lights. We've got a cable there for the number plate. And then we've got three cables running out the chassis. Simple, isn't it? I just need to get them nicely sealed up and nicely put away on here. Because why they've all ripped apart is because uh, they've been hitting the floor, obviously, and scraped themselves to pieces because they've been insecure. Yeah, that's done. I normally like to check them, obviously, but where the position where that trailer is at, it's chucked in. They can't get the lorry to it yet. But I've told him when he uh, when he couples on to it, check him, and if there's a problem, give me a ring. But it should be a lot better than where it was. Fuck, oh, it's a scorcher in it today. It's only Wednesday, or oh, by Friday, it's meant to be even hotter. <laughs> okay, now. Definitely got, <laughs> oh. Definitely got man flu. I'm gonna have to stop in a minute. It's pure. Still don't feel very good. Oh, got my tea. It's not it up. Man flu. Oh. I didn't do much yesterday, fucking hell. Whooped out it was. 
Right, boys, that, that trainer I did yesterday, that little eye for Williams, I rewired all the back end. He just rang me up this morning, he said I had a flood battery this morning on the uh, lorry. So I jumped starter, I got to the job, I've just printed start again, it's dead again. So, as he says, I don't know whether it's something to do with what I've done with the wiring or just a coincidence. I can't see it out to do with the wiring. God knows, we'll find out, won't we? Let's find out. Yesterday though, my headache, fucking hell, what a, couldn't do it, you know, headache behind my eyes, fucking hell, oh. I fucking hate headaches, I can deal with most things, but headaches, oh. But I know you know right from wrong, buy yourself a postcard. Hey, I've just seen a Royal Mail van, and that just reminded me, my post office box should be set up by now. Uh, because I haven't had confirmation through, but I rang them this morning again. I rang them, like, yeah, I rang them yesterday, but I rang them this morning. And uh, and they said, yeah, it should be all set up. I'll send you the confirmation for, through email instead of through post. So they've sent me confirmation through. <laughs> Fucking hell. So I'll put my post office box in the description. In the description, is it? Yeah, in the description, in that little, like arrow facing down yeah on my channel this is the hour the darkest place all right Connor my son have a good day brother my missus was showing me a thing last night on uh on the phone, she said, yeah, look what happens in Germany when they get a road accident. I don't know whether this is true, guys, or not, or whether it's just fucking some shit on the computer. But she said, she showed me it, and all the traffic gets on to the hard shoulders, and they leave the middle bit open for all the uh, emergency services. And she reckons that's what normally happens if they have a road accident row, everyone automatically gets on the hard shoulders. <coughs> don't do that in our country, do they? Fucking hell. Hey, if there's a gap in our country, they'll be fucking in the gap, won't they? Everyone will be running down the fucking middle of it, won't they? You know why? Because our country, everyone's gone and got themselves in a big damn fucking hurry. See if it wasn't bad enough. Fucking Jack just fell out and hit me on the fucking foot. Talk about kicking my way down. Hobbling that. It's still one of them days, isn't it? In six weeks ago, I cleaned that off with boiling water. Look at this lot. Larry the loose hand. I bet that's where he's going his, uh, his uh, flat battery problem from. What's the betting? Hey, guys. Well, that's his problem. 12.6 volts, 12.3 volts, that terminal, I need to clean that terminal up, I should have a terminal cleaner in my van, I'm open. Mahatma Gandhi, that's the terminal cleaner look, internal, external, different sizes. Waste of fucking time, that is, isn't it? Let's try this end. I'll just get the wire brush on that bit. What I'm gonna do is slice down there, look with my grinder. Slice down that middle bit. Because then that'll give it its clampage to clamp around it, because it's, it's gone smaller, the peg has. So if I cut around that with a thin cutting disc, cut that bolt out, and then put a new bolt in it, and it should clamp up to the terminal then. Hello, Joe. Alright, isn't it? I feel like shit still. I've got no foot brake on the trailer, I just thought I'd check his lights because this is the one I rewired. But there's no power coming out of the lorry, so I'm hoping it's a fuse. It won't be that easy though, will it? Right, I'll wait for him to swap lorries, then I'll check it on the different lorry. Yeah, lorry fault then, that brake light issue. Uh, he's taking it back with that other lorry anyway, the trailer, so 
I've got enough to do today, so I'm gonna have a look at that another day for him. On to the next job, inspections. Ah, that breeze is nice. Lovely. The aircon obviously doesn't work in the struggle bus. Nor does my fan. Someone said it might be a relay. I ain't checked yet. You know what I'm like. If you need air conditioning, put your windows down. Put the other one down, look. Ah, oh, beautiful. Aircon. Just driving then. And all of a sudden, my fucking fan come on and blew a load of fucking dust out. It was like a bomb went off, a dust bomb went off in my cab. I thought to myself, I bet that looks good on camera. I'd look back at my camera, storage full. <laughs> so where I had to stop here uh, to sort my storage out, there's obviously a burger bar, so I had to go burger, didn't I? I had no choice, boys. I had to get one. Come on. She works. Of course, you little do. Them lorries look weird, don't they? You know them ones without mirrors? It looks like a head done it with no ears. It looks very strange. Hey, right? They've got cameras instead of mirrors, haven't they? Hey, that's all right until four or five years down the line. Mm, how many problems they going to give? No end, don't they? Truck guy. Got that? Hey, what's that you doing? Alright, brother, how are you? Fucking hot, mate, hot. I know, just going down here now, my fucking van didn't work, and then all of a sudden it started to come out, pudding me in fucking dust and shit. <laughs> what you got, Connor? How it exciting? All day breakfast, mate. You're on film, Connor, look. You know we're always filming, maybe oh, YouTube good lad, or not. Oh, good lad, I thought you would be. It's our Connor look again, guys. Connor's going now, he's got to go and do YouTube. some work. Nice to see you again, anyway. I'll see you, Colin. I hope you get better soon. Catch you in a bit. I know, yeah. You've been no, talking no to standing supplies. I'll see you about knocking about anyway, so. No doubt you'll get man flu now. Now you've been still, still talking to me. What's worth it, mate? It's worth it. <laughs> see you later, buddy. See you later, dude. Struggle on, brother. Struggle on! Try this train. Oh, it's a train. That's where we're heading, the big windmills. What's the crack here? Just opened my side door to get on this job. I've got oil appeared from somewhere. I can't fucking smell oil. Feels like hydraulic oil. Well, what's the crack here then, Jack? Where's that from? Uh -huh. I have got hydraulic oil on. Well, I did have. There. That's the culprit. Him. The messy bogger. I thought my uh, van had sprung a hydraulic leak there. I thought to myself, I've got no hydraulic on the bloody van. Come on. They don't feel loose, but look at the markings on the rim locks. They've either had the wheel nuts off and they've just gone back in a different position, or they've been budging a bit. I'll try them. I've got the lads a coke each uh, back at the yard, at that yard where I'm working, and myself a water. And I got this as well, look, because uh, the lads were about last night that I need to drink more. Obviously, I only have a monster drink a day, and that's it. That's the only fucking drink I have. Apart from milk, obviously. I like milk. I have bits and bobs of milk. But really, I could do with some nourishment. So I've seen that in the garage. Two pounds summit. So let's try this out. The original nourishment. Since 1981. That was the year I was born. Let's try it. Oh my God, that's lovely. Tell you what it kind of tastes like. You know evaporated milk or whatever it's called? That. That is nice. Dear though, isn't it? Too bad. Well, that was two pound gone, wasn't it? Cop more crap. Oh, 
I don't like moaning about the heat, obviously, but it does weigh out, you know, when you're working in it. Especially when you're not very well. Feel it, yeah. Not badly. No, I've got my milk in here. No, I've got water and all, I've got some water in there, and I'll be drinking water. I'll carry on with the rest of them tomorrow. I've got a breakdown on Scotty, his shredder. It needs a new cage around there, and he's been collecting a new cage. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Scotty's yard now. You need plenty of water in this weather, don't you? Right, well, what we're doing here, look, guys, is, you see this here? It shreds material to different sizes. Yeah, anything that don't pay the bill gets in the shredder. But the thing is, what your decision is, is how big you want the bits coming out the bottom of the shredder. So these, look, go round, and when the bits get small enough to drop through these holes, that's your material that goes down the conveyor belt and goes out. Now, if you want the bits smaller, like these guys do, Scotty wants them smaller, you have to have smaller holes in it, look. And then that, thus, the material coming out the end is smaller. So he wants smaller material, so that means we've got to change that, Scott, doesn't it? So that one's coming out, no, and that one's going in. Yeah, Scott wants smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go on. That'll crush your steel toe caps, won't it? Right, we're all set up for this bad boy. See here, look, the only thing holding it is then rams up and then pins there. But when we uh, put them rams down, all of that is going to fall down. So he's going to put his tines under, support it, and it'll fall on the tides. That's the theory anyway. Oh, that's it. Good job I've got big muscles. What? I'm laughing for. <laughs> What's up with? Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. Yeah, I'll pay the checks, Scott. Yeah, that's there, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having technical difficulty getting these rams down uh, out to lower this cage down. Because you can't do that door open because you have door. Ah, that's why then. Here we go. There we go. We're on. Right, I'm gonna go over here now. Lovely. Or under. That's all we needed. The pin end lot there. Flip it over. Yeah, so then pins on that go down there and up on in them gullies. And then them pins hold it in. Push the little do, innit? It's in Polish. Simple when you know how. Grass, no brakes on the head, but it's all fun. We done seen it all, heard it all. Heard enough, give me space for I murder y'all. Ten bad bitches here, I'm a curve of my twelve missed calls, and I still made a curtain call. <laughs> Oh, now you just simply slide this in, bolt it up, and it's done.
good thing, at least I feel better. Now I've got to tighten this side up. Then there, look. All the way along there. Because that's the other side of the cage. They've got a picking station as well because it doesn't uh, get stainless off road. So they've got a picking station up there to get all the stainless out of it as well. And this is the product coming out the other end block. Our work here is done, boys. Come on, boys, let's fucking go on. Flies? What's all the fucking flies about? Get out, flies. Get out of here, you baggers. So we're going to go around Wales, do some challenges around Wales for charity. Oh, yeah. So I won't be here next Friday, but I'll come Thursday. Yeah. Alright, yeah. have a good, have a good week. See you later. Yeah. It's a bit scotty. <laughs> Cheers, Scott. Homeward bound boys, let's go!